Muy buenas, bienvenidos al canal, en el vídeo de hoy os traigo información para que sepáis que tenéis este juego que estáis viendo aquí en pantalla, se llama Crows, ¿vale? Es un Battle Royale, lo tenéis gratis para PC, simplemente en consolas todavía no ha salido o no sé siquiera si va a salir, ¿vale? Lo tenemos en PC y está en la plataforma de Steam, ¿vale? El juego se llama así, como estáis viendo aquí, Crows, ¿vale? Es un Battle Royale y vamos a ver un pequeño tráiler, aquí unas imágenes para que os hagáis una idea de cómo es el juego. Tiene bastante buena pinta, nosotros lo acabamos de descargar y lo vamos a jugar ahora mismo en cuanto terminemos de hacer este vídeo. Así que nada, dicho lo dicho, vamos a ver estas pequeñas imágenes para que os hagáis una idea de cómo es el juego. Vamos a ver estas pequeñas imágenes para que os hagáis una idea de cómo es el juego. Vamos a ver estas pequeñas imágenes para que os hagáis una idea de cómo es el juego. Vamos a ver estas pequeñas imágenes para que os hagáis una idea de cómo es el juego. Vamos a ver estas pequeñas The biggest characteristic about squad operations is that you team up with three other people and compete with other teams. Squads can be randomly assigned through in-game matchmaking, but you can also team up with your friends before jumping into the game. All players will prepare for battle during the loadout phase before the match starts. Every player will start with a loadout in squad operations. Players can customize their main and secondary weapon loadouts as well as utility loadouts during this phase. When the game starts, players will be flown into the battlefield via helicopter. Helicopters will fly by different areas of the map every match, and players must choose which area they want to drop in. You can access the map by pressing the M key and share landing zones by clicking the mouse wheel. It's recommended for squads to land together in one area. As the helicopter flies closer to your landing destination, press the F key to jump out of the helicopter and dive down. You can open your parachute anytime you want, but it will also automatically deploy once you reach a certain altitude. Press the W key to swoop into the battlefield faster. You only start out with basic equipment in squad operations, so all players must farm for items scattered around the area. Players can pick up items by approaching it, aiming at it until the item description pops up, then pressing the F key to pick up said item. A given item's color will depend on its type and grade. Items will be gray, green, blue, purple, or red, depending on its rarity. Of course, red items are the rarest, and gray items are the most common. Above all, there are items that are a must pick up for players. Tactical equipment items will be yellow, and will help during battle. Above the player's health bar in the lower left part of the screen, this gauge represents the HP bar of the bulletproof helmet and vest. These items will reduce incoming damage by a certain amount. Bulletproof helmets and vests of higher grades will reduce more damage. When your backpack is full and you cannot pick up any more items, you can either find a better backpack or discard items to lighten the load. You can check what you're carrying by pressing the tab key and discard items by right-clicking on them. Other methods of farming for items is to look for items inside shining crates that are scattered randomly across the map. You can open these crates by pressing the F key to interact with them. Depending on the color of the shining crate, you can predict what grade of item inside will likely be. Aside from the aforementioned items, you can also obtain special drops from squad operations. One of these special drops is the A-10 Fighter Bomber. Use the A-10 to get out of sticky situations, or set up a tactical shield to protect yourself from a barrage of bullets. Now, let's get down to why you're here. To extract Q-Ons. Q-Ons come in two different forms. They either come in a solid item form, or in an extractable gas form. You can automatically obtain Q-Ons in solid form and you can view your acquired q by checking the q guide on the top of your screen. q in gas form cannot be acquired so easily. Instead, they need to be extracted using an extractor. Extractors randomly spawn throughout the map like normal items. You'll need to find an extractor and install it near the q gas for extraction. Extracting q will take some time to complete, but they will reward you with more q than in item form. When a Q-On extractor is in place, the extraction will be available for anyone, so you'll need to defend it. You and your team can extract Q-Ons or find other more forceful methods. Other methods include killing enemies and taking their collected Q-Ons. Taking out an enemy who is transporting Q-Ons will allow you to obtain a portion of what they were carrying. As mercenaries, you have both options available for gathering Q-On, so please choose the playstyle that suits you. 
you can use Q-Ons for numerous requests such as calling for a helicopter evacuation. Pressing the X key will bring up a UI that shows what the Q-Ons can be used for. You can request for supplies or even a tactical vehicle. You can request for the equipment that you've customized in the main screen to be delivered to you as well. Use them strategically to do the impossible. However, it's not just other mercenaries that you need to be worried about. The map has danger zones where meteorites will fall from the sky. When a meteorite hits the ground, it starts spreading highly toxic gas throughout the entire map. If you are inside the gas, the toxins will start hurting you. Mercenaries are encouraged to press the 6 key and wear their gas masks to reduce toxin damage. However, the gas mask will only last for so long until it cannot protect you anymore. You have a choice to farm for purifier so you can last longer within the toxic gas, or you can choose to stay as far away from it as possible. There's only one way to survive the toxic gas. It is the Zeta virus. The Zeta virus is called the unicorn drug, as it's one of the rarest items on the map. If a player dies after consuming the Zeta virus, the player will respawn as an infected. Players revived as the infected have abnormally fast movement speed and jump strength. However, they are unstable and require bioenergy consumption to survive. Bueno, vamos a dejar aquí el trailer porque se alarga mucho, dura 7 minutos, lleva 6, dura 7 minutos y poco. Y bueno, yo creo que ya sabéis hecho una idea de cómo es el juego. Mira, tiene hasta zombies y todo, se pueden convertir en zombies los enemigos. Así que nada, dicho esto, espero que os haya gustado el vídeo y la información. Ya sabéis, podéis suscribiros, darle a like y compartir este vídeo para ayudarme a crecer. Muchas gracias y nos vemos en el próximo vídeo. Adiós.